आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at www.unravelthethread.com i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration on today's episode yoga sutra 139 or by focusing on anything uplifting This verse reaffirms the fact that the Yoga Sutra is a non-dogmatic, comprehensive compendium of yoga techniques, understanding that each person is unique and that the same path may not be the best for everybody. Patanjali offers an open invitation to remove distractions by dedicating your energy and awareness to whatever you find uplifting. The sutra also reminds you that yoga is about you making the most intelligent and appropriate choices available to you. Take a moment to consider what inspires you. What do you find truly uplifting? What is the direct experience that you have when you are inspired? How does inspiration feel in your mind, your body and your emotions? How are you cultivating inspiring thoughts, intentions, actions and interactions in your daily life? What happens when you make the conscious choice to look for inspiration in everything that you do? This may be a good time to review the internal structure of this chapter in the Yoga Sutra. After inviting us to be present and awake, Sutra 1.1, Patanjali defined Yoga 1.2, introducing its effects, abiding in one's own natural state 1.3. Patanjali indicated how we get pulled away from our natural state and misidentify One four with our ways of being, one five to one eleven, and he also offered a strategy to deactivate those distractions through practice, abhyasa, one twelve to one fourteen, and detachment, vairagya, one fifteen and one sixteen. Then followed the. gradual progression into deeper internal harmony 117 to 122 after explaining the path of humility 123 to 127 how to practice it and its effects 128 and 129 patanjali listed the obstructions most of us face and their symptoms 130 and 131 as well as effective ways to overcome them single pointed focus 132 and moderation 133 in sutras 134 to 139 we found specific focal points for practice as we practice each one of these sutras we can assess if the practice is working The obstacles and obstructions listed in 130 decrease and our misidentification with our ways of being dwindles 14 while at the same time we feel more whole complete and integrated in other words we are better able to rest in our authentic sense of being gradually we gravitate toward the natural state of ease with less need to identify ourselves with our changing experiences 13 as you practice what are you noticing in you is there anything different in your internal environment 
What can you observe in your choices and actions? What is the quality of your interactions? As usual, one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it. You can choose to chant it in its traditional form with some of the words coming together. Yatha bhimata dhyanadva Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Yatha abhimata dhyanat va 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 Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will explore Sutra 40 in Chapter 1. Please remember that you can find more information at unravelthethread.com. I would appreciate it if you could share this podcast with other like-minded people. Thank you. Until next time. Namaste. Namaste.